In our series of More Perfect Union, we aim to show that what unites us as Americans is far, far greater than what divides us. Commercial photography is an estimated $2 billion with a B industry. More than 70% of the photographers are white. In Los Angeles, one nonprofit is providing opportunities by offering photography classes to teenage girls in communities of color. Lilia Luciano, one of the great names, shows us how they're changing lives and the industry. In the shadow of the downtown Los Angeles skyline, East LA is home to a vibrant street art scene that captures the heart and soul of the Latinx community. But today's younger generation of creators aren't just using paintbrushes, they're using cameras. Keep your head there and then just look at me. Maria Romero joined the Las Fotos project like four years one. ago. Were you interested in photography before? I didn't grow up with like anyone who was a photographer or an artist. I didn't know that I had access to this. The nonprofit started in 2010 to help young Latinas build self-confidence through photography. Students are given a laptop, camera, and free classes taught by professionals. They learn basic photography, photojournalism, and entrepreneurial skills. Lucia Torres is the executive director. They're being offered a forum and a space to step into their power. The team's photos have been featured in art museums, national newspapers, and presented to United Nations ambassadors. But they're also in display within the community at local exhibitions and public parks. Seeing how people are just in awe of this imagery and all of the, of the photography, and it's them. They're the subjects. They're the people who are in these photographs. It's everyday people in their everyday worlds and their everyday lives. Okay. 18-year-old Romina Estrada says photography gave her the confidence to meet new people and build relationships. Before I joined Las Fotos, I was very shy and introverted, but I think it's really brought me out of my shell. What do you feel you're providing to your community? I think a feeling of closeness and a feeling of like representation. I went up to people and they were like, whoa, like I've never had like my photo taken. Thank you for this. Romero says the group became a refuge after she immigrated from Mexico when she was 12. I was so sad to leave. I remember I couldn't sleep. Oof, sorry. I, I haven't talked about this in a long time. It sounds very overwhelming, especially at an age where, that is already overwhelming. Yeah. I was so afraid to speak English in front of like my classmates that I would only do it uh, when I was alone in class with my teachers. Do you feel like photography in a way gave you a voice? With photography, I have been able to show my emotions. She also found a home away from home. It's not just a photography program, it's a community for girls who are struggling, who have the same struggles, who have the same experiences, and we are able to connect. With guidance from full-time photographers, Romero and Estrada have both been hired for professional gigs, paying jobs that they hope could lead to long-term careers. It's so beautiful and empowering to be able to have a camera and be able to like say, I'm a professional photographer. For CBS This Morning, Lilia Luciano, Los Angeles. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, Very Maria sweet. Romero cheering on. I love how she holds the camera. Yeah. You can tell, and you can see where it gives them the confidence. Yeah. It's, well, it's so interesting that yeah. going behind the camera can actually bring somebody out more. Yeah. yeah. And they say it's not a, it's not just a photo club, it's a community. And yeah. photos are so powerful. You can see that. It just says, it yeah. tells you to stop. It freezes the moment. Yeah. Look right. and feel something. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right. Well done, Lilia. Lilia Luciana. I love her name. Beautiful. Lilia Luciana. Yeah. I like it.